Markets are much calmer now that a plan is coming out of Europe and China that could help bail out the eurozone. So will investors focus more on what's happening here in the U.S.? Peter Schiff is the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. He's joining us now live from New Orleans. And Peter, what if we started to look at what's happening here in the U.S.? Fewer people are asking if we'd see a double dip recession. Certainly after yesterday's bullish move in the market, people were feeling better. Are you? Well, I might be, but the country isn't. I think, you know, the numbers that you just mentioned, the fact that the savings rate is now down to the lowest level since December of 2007, that shows where all this phony growth is coming from. It's spending more money that we don't have. You know, the GDP numbers that we got this week, the reason there was a, a, a decent number or two and a half was because consumers spent more. But now you know where they got the money. They borrowed it. And the other problem is some of the money they're spending is because they're not making their mortgage payments. And I think some of the spending is coming from the fact that people have so much credit card debt, they figure, you know, what the hell? They're not going to pay it anyway, so they might as well buy more stuff. And I think another reason that they're spending more is because prices are going up. So, you know, I don't think this is good news. But, Peter, you've got to face the reality that most people are making their payments on time. And most people are, in fact, dealing with their credit cards in a good way, not in a bad way. So isn't it conceivable that despite all the bad news, and I don't deny what you say, there's a lot of bad news out there, but there's still a lot of good news. Can't you recognize any of it? No, I don't, I don't see any good news. <laughs> you know, the government today, the, the GDP numbers that came out, uh, they're claiming now that after 15 quarters, we finally recouped what we lost during the Great Recession, that we fully recovered. Mm -hmm. But how can that be? You have millions and millions of people that are still unemployed. Do you really believe that American workers are that much more productive, that we can have the same level of economic output we had in, in December of 2007 with millions of fewer workers? I don't think so. I just think it's all an illusion. I think it's created by government. I think inflation is a lot bigger mm -hmm. uh, than the government admits, so the GDP is actually a lot lower. And if you actually look at the other statistics, during the Great Recession, uh, according to the government, uh, household income dropped by two and a half percent during that period of time. Mm -hmm. But since the recovery began, household income has dropped by seven and a half percent adjusted for inflation. Okay. How could Americans be doing worse in the recovery than in the recession? Well, as David said, there is bad news out there, certainly. But we should let people know that as, as gloomy as you often sound, you've found many ways to make money. What are you investing in, Peter? Well, you know, I'm investing in gold no, and but silver. Come on. No, no. I mean, you know, you have these incredible <laughs> plays of things like the Chinese toll companies that managed to make a lot of money you that's why you're called euro pacific how much euro how yeah. much pacific yeah well not that many euros these days yeah. although the euro the euro is going up as i've been forecasting but a lot of people aren't talking about the fact that today the u.s dollar hit another all-time record low against the japanese yen so the dollar is weak and it would be a lot weaker if the japanese weren't foolishly intervening which is what a lot of other countries are doing but yes i think there is opportunity around the world think about all the products that we're buying somebody had to make them so there are there is actually economic growth going on in other countries and i think it's going to improve when those other countries stop lending us money and start using that money for themselves. And so there is opportunities, I think, if people buy money, invest in other stock markets. In fact, this huge rally we've had in the stock markets in the last month, it's much bigger outside the United States than in the United States, especially when you factor in the foreign exchange. Okay, Peter, I want to shift gears here for a second because there's a viral video out that I'm sure you've seen. You probably had something to do with putting <laughs> oh, it really? out, but it's getting a lot of hits. It's you actually, you've never been a shy guy. You've never been reticent about confronting somebody who you disagree with. You did that with the Occupy Wall Street crowd, one person in particular. Let's take a look at that and get your reaction. I'm employing 150 people. How many people do you employ? I'm in the mortgage business. I wish I employed 150 well, well, people. Well, let's stop. Well, go do it. The problem is the I'm doing it. I'm doing my share. Why aren't you doing yours? I'm doing my share. Sticking up for the entrepreneur. I love it. How, how did you get out of there alive, Peter? Well, you know, they, they were pretty civil. I mean, there were a lot of people that were arguing with me, but there was no violence. You know, uh, I, you know I think a couple of people, you know, reached out and touched me, but not in a, in a, in a threatening kind of way. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I had a good time. I was there for about three hours, maybe a little bit more. Good so for you. A, lot of, a lot of the conversation is on the cutting room floor right now, but I didn't produce the videos. There are a lot of people around there taking videos, but I do believe that we're going to get a lot more footage up there so you can see oh, all of these exchanges okay. in their entirety but, because they are pretty lively. But, Peter, is that why you didn't make it to our high school reunion last weekend that I was at? Peter and I went to the same high school. 
at Beverly Hills High School. Don't, don't give away your age. I didn't. You know, s <laughs> did I say 30th? Oops. Oh, no, but they, they can see how old I look. You know, you just, <laughs> now the cat's out of the bag. I you was look a like child genius, so I was a lot younger than you, right? Peter, yeah, well, they you, missed you there. All right. Well, yeah, right. you know, well, but the reason is because I'm going back to California again. I'm going to be there. I'm speaking at UCLA November okay. 8th. I'm actually doing an economic debate. Maybe you guys can cover it. It should be pretty lively. I'm, <laughs> oh, and I'm speaking sure. in, We're in Orange County. We're going to send out the crews right away. And, and I'm Liz down here in New Orleans, you know, right now. So I've been, I've, I would have liked to have come out there, Liz. Hopefully you said hello to everybody I, I told me. everybody how well you're doing investing in Zimbabwe Platinum. Peter, thank you. Hey, he's making that money. That was an old call. I'm glad you remember that one. <laughs> Good for you, Peter. Thanks, Peter. Thanks a lot.